now the topic is surface areas and volumes so before going to the topic let me discuss about the two dimensional three dimensional figures so what is meant by dimension dimension means which can be measured say first of all two dimensional two dimensional figures two dimensional figures figures two dimensional figures which has two dimensions generally we call them length and breadth let me get the figure of two dimensional a rectangle You observe the rectangle this is the length l generally denoted by l length and this is the breadth so this figure is only two dimensional not a rectangle square circle triangle all these are two dimensional in two dimensional we have perimeter so what do you mean by perimeter perimeter means the total length total length of a boundary of a two dimensional figure two dimensional figure is called perimeter that means total length l plus b generally we call l here b here and l opposite sides are equal rectangle b so total length means l plus b plus l plus b that means 2l plus 2b so 2l plus 2b so that if we take two common two into l plus b so this is the perimeter of rectangle so total length of the boundary of a given figure is called perimeter then area the space enclosed between two dimensional figure is called area so this is the space enclosed between the two dimensional figure this entire space within the boundary of the length and breadth all these lines length breadth length and breadth so the space enclosed by this figure is nothing but area so it is in the shape of rectangle you can call it as a area of the rectangle now 3d figures so 3d means three dimensional 3d figures which have three dimensional or three dimensions generally we take the mass length breadth height sometimes height can be taken as depth breadth can be taken as width so what are the name it is if you have three dimensions three measurable extensions it is called 3d figure so example cube cuboid cylinder etc not only these things human body every object which we can see and we can touch that and we can ensure that it is a three dimensional see once no this is the cuboid if you observe here we have three dimensions length breadth so this is one one dimension this is one dimension height this is one dimensional so here we have three dimensions now in three dimensions we don't have the perimeter because this is the total length of the boundary generally we don't have the length here areas so generally we call it as surface area here we come with the topic name surface area and volumes surface area 
here in three dimensional we have faces and vertices and these are this will be the edges edges vertices and faces so for cuboid we have six faces so surface area means we can see here six faces for the sur six surfaces so area enclosed by the faces of an 3d object is called surface area see this is surface area this is surface area okay face of a enclosed by the face of an 3d object it's called surface area now volume in two dimensional we come with the area when regarding space when you're talking with the space now here the space enclosed within the three dimensional figure so the space entire space in the three dimensional figure is called volume same space in two dimensional figure is called area now we are going with pyramids and prism first of all pyramid so pyramid means we have we can have any base it may be square rectangle triangle so all the vertices of that face converge at one point if all the vertices of a base converge at one point then it is called pyramid it is called pyramid we may have square pyramid rectangular pyramid triangular pyramid so depends upon the base let me take square pyramid see this is square means the base and we have triangles that means all these vertices converge at one point if you see this figure can understand see all the vertices converge at one point this is the base square base square base all these vertices are converged at one point if you elaborate this you can get this figure so it is called square pyramid now triangular pyramid triangle will be the base and all these vertices are converged at one point so this is the triangular base now we can go with the pyramid curved surface area or lateral surface area. curved surface area of a pyramid how can you say the curved surface area of the pyramid how to take pi r generally if you take the square square pyramid or triangular pyramid you can go with base this is square so generally curved surface area of the pyramid can be taken as half into half into perimeter of base into slant height that means see this will be the slant height 
this edge length will be the slant head L then this will be the height that means the thing the line which is perpendicular to base is called height generally and where the vertex is joined or converged at one point all the vertices converge at point all these vertices lengths are called the length from the vertex to the converged point is called slant height slant height so in general we will take curved surface of curved surface means this three four faces excluding the base is four faces so you can take half into perimeter of the base into slant height if it is square pyramid what will be the curved surface area half into four, half perimeter means half into perimeter of the square 4s into slant height l that means 2 into side of the square into l will be the curved surface area of the pyramid now total surface area of a pyramid total surface area of the pyramid if you observe this total surface area we can take curved surface area plus base area that will be the total surface area before in curved surface area we excluded the base total means we have to get the entire figure so curved surface area plus whatever we excluded before is base I'm adding the base now half into perimeter of base into height or slant height plus base area area of the base now volume of a pyramid so generally volume of a pyramid is 1 by 3rd into base area into height if you consider square what is the base area volume here base area a square into height and we have to multiply with 1 by 3 that means 1 by 3 into a square into height is the volume of this square pyramid so 1 by 3 times of the base area into height of the pyramid this will give the volume of the pyramid now we can go with the prism this is an enlarged figure having same base that means congruent base so this is the square pyramid sorry square prism generally we call it as cube square prism that means the base is square both the top and bottom bases are same bases square and not only the square with same side same side these are enlarged up to a height h then these type of figures are called prisms if the edge of the square or side of the square of the base and bottom bottom base and top base are a and the height h is equal to a then it is you can say that height and all these dimensions are a units so it is called square prism and also called cube generally all three are equal is called cube and this is also square prism if you observe carefully this is also square prism see these two bases are square squares and it will enlarge up to the height h but here the side of the square the side of the squares not equal to h so now we will form cuboid that means here both the bases are square and the height enlarged between them is the side equal to the square of the side length equal to the square of the side. but here the h height is different with the sides of the square then you will form a cuboid that is the difference